Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to use QTXIML DOM to parse XML data. Using XML data format to exchange data between systems, applications, front page, and back end are very, very common used in recent days. In this short video, we are going to use one of previous video's example, and uh, in that video, we put a text file in this line editor, we click the open text button, and then we display all the text file in this uh, plan text editor. Today, we are going to add a new button called the parse XML, so which when this button is clicked, we open the XML file to parse it and display the result in this plan text editor. To start, we are going to right click and go to slot and like a click and click OK and then we get a open push button 3 clicked. So we are going to make a copy paste from the open text the button clicked. So we will get a file name from the line editor and we instantialize the Q file object called my file. If my file exists, we open this file and as text model and then we starting parse our XML file. So first thing we have to instantialize my doc object. So Q DOM document my doc and uh, my doc have to set content which is from the my file after we set up the content we have to get the element of this document so q dom element got my dog I name dog element are equal my dog dot document element and after we have our document element we have to get my first node each q dom uh, node my node very equal my dog element dot first child so after we have to get the first child we need to make a loop wr not my node is now and we do something and the finish do something we shift to the next node my node equal dot next sibling so till all the node sibling node finished so if I get my node and the first we have to get the node element so Q DOM element which this is node element that is a document element so node element will be equal my node dot to element so and then we we got to display so we append to plan text editor append 
as uh, going to append, we're going to append node element dot target name. So what is node element target name? Let's say this is our XML file. This is a node. So when I got there, this this is uh, with uh, this is called a tag name. Each node has tag name, and this is a node text. So when we got the first node child, we just print the tag name. That's what we print. It's appended to the plant text tag name, and we have to check if my node dot has child node. So you know, in, in the XM node tree, some node has child node. So in this example, this node player has a child. One, two, three, four, five child node. So this is a, their child node. So if this node has child node, what we are going to do, we have to do something to display child node. So for child. So what we're going to do, we have to create a method called a list node child. In this method, we pass the node element and the level of this child. And uh, so when this from this uh, list method, first we get it from the element, node element, we get the first child of this element. So we do the same thing. If this node, child node is not now, and then we going to display the target name and and the text name. So we are going to display the node has child, we are going to this target name and the text name. And the between, we have put the colon in between. So, and uh, after that, if, a node has, if this node has a child, we go to call this function again, at least the uh, method again, we continue goes to the node a child finished, and then we go to next sibling. We tell all the sibling in this level finish. We go back, and uh, so we are going to call this method. So this this dot list node child. We know we're going to pass the node element. And the level, because this is the root level, so we call the level one. And then we finish all this child node. We go to next sibling, we finish all the sibling of the level one. And then we finish. Then we are going to finish display. So now let's build. It's building. Okay, so now let's go to Linux. Let's lay it out. So this is our binary we just built. Just let's run this. So here is our GUI interface. So let's start from the our home directory. So we go click. We have an XML file called a tennis player, which we generated from the preview one of preview video example. So let's say open this text file. You can see we have a root and the first child player, second player, third player, first is first player has name John Oliver and the membership adult membership and it's male intermediate. So let's parse this. Uh, so we can see we have a first player, second player, third player. 
First player name be parse is John Oliver, membership is adult membership, and gender is male and the intermediate. And the last player is the Susan Rice. So let's see here. So we have the last player is Susan Rice. So we parse and we got our XML passed. And from that on, we can do whatever we need to do for business or program use. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hope it's useful and enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.